Hey, how are you? My name is Kurt Lieberman. Welcome to Learning with the TRA Team. I am the owner of Tar River Arms here in Wake Forest, North Carolina. And we're going to talk today about the FNM Ballista 338 Lapua. This is just one incredible rifle. Um, I really, really do like this. No hand, I'm not no holds barred on this one. I do love this rifle, and we're going to talk about it in some greater detail. Um, first, I'm going to talk about the why it exists, right? There's a reason why this gun was developed. And then we're going to talk about some quick details about the rifle from front to back. And then I'm going to talk about some details about changing out the calibers of this gun, the barrels of this gun, and the bolt face, and all the great stuff that makes this gun so modular and perfect to me. And then I'm going to talk about the cost. Um, so just some logistical things. I'm not going to go into every finite detail. There's a lot of details below this video in the post. And there's also two links. There's the first link, which is our inbound link to Tarver Arms website where you can get purchase detail info that also has spec detail info. And then there's an outbound link to the FNN Ballista site that gives you even greater detail um, or more spot finite details about the gun and everything in the rifle that is here. So um, what else, let's move forward. Um, the reason why, why does this gun exist? Well, the Department of Defense, the U.S. Department of Defense said we want our manufacturers out there to build a, they call it PSR, uh, Precision Sniper Rifle System. Um, that's what, I don't know if that's what they call it or that's what it ended up with, but it's called a PSR rifle. Um, and they made a lot of specific details about what they wanted. It wanted to be modular, it needed to be light, it needed to be easy to, you know, to, to, to deal with on the ch caliber changes, it needed to be certain lengths. Um, it, the only thing that they didn't say really about this gun and the specific details about it is what caliber to choose. The funny thing about that is, is that several companies actually submitted a bid or submitted a product to that bid or that requirements document, and they all ended up with the 338 Lapua round. I think the reason that was is one of the specifics was the rifle needed to be able to shoot out to 1,500 yards consistently and accurately and very easily. Um, and what all the manufacturers determined on their own, not in conjunction with each other, the 338 Lapua was the right round for that. So that's how they ended up with that, but they also ended up with other calibers, which we'll talk about soon. So they all submitted to this contract, and this is what they came up with, and this is what FNN came up with. Now, FNN did not come up with this rifle all on their own, which is strange, right? Well, they actually had founded a company called uh, Unique Alpine out of Bavaria, Germany, who had created, I think it's a TPG, TPG bolt action rifle um, that actually served as the basis for this. It just didn't have all the requirements of the military contract that was being asked for. So FNN stepped in and made a deal with them, and they came up with this. So they helped develop the additional features that the DOD was asking for, and here we are. So let's talk about a little bit about from front to back. So I, phew, this rifle, I just love this rifle. Anyway, so if you start with the buttstock, everything is adjustable. Everything in this end piece right here is adjustable for multiple reasons, and we'll talk why. It goes left to right. It goes up or down. The cheek piece goes up or down to meet whatever standard height you want. It's foldable. It's made out of aluminum, so it's very durable, very light, but also very flexible depending on what your angle is that you're getting behind it. The one thing I will tell you with absolute certainty is that when you sit behind this rifle and you put that into your shoulder and you adjust it to where it fits you as an individual, it truly does feel like it becomes a part, like you become a part of that rifle, starting from here all the way down at the end point or wherever that bullet is or that projectile is being shot at. So if it's 1,500 yards, you truly become a meld with this rifle. It's the weirdest, I don't even know how to explain it. Until you get behind it, you'll understand that you be, feel like you become one with the rifle. Some other kind of cool things about, you know, all these little adjustments and details really help with recoil as well. 338 Lapua has a pretty good oomph to it, and it, there are several features in here designed to help mitigate that recoil, and that's one of them. Into the receiver, this receiver is aluminum as well. This receiver is split down the middle, as, which is interesting, right? But the big reason behind that is so that it's part of the barrel change option here. Um, it's designed so that this barrel can be popped off in within a couple minutes, and I'll talk about that here in a second. It also has a buffer in here between the receiver and the barrel to ensure that it also re, uh, mitigates the recoil as well. So there's another feature with inside that receiver to help with that as well. 
Um, there is a scientific name to that. It is in the details. Um, and it'd be on the website as well. But in layman's terms, it's a buffer <laughs> to help mitigate recoil, which is awesome. Um, it has a full length rail across this where all of your accessories would go, things like your optics, night vision, laser, whatever it is. It has a rail on the bottom here for a bipod, which comes with this rifle. This is not the standard bipod. This is not the FNN optional bipod. This is ours that we put on there. There's also an option right here for a monopod so that you can raise this up as well so it sits flat even at the table at rest. I think that's pretty cool as well. And there's one piece missing from here. It is in the picture of the post. Um, I'm not sure why it didn't come with this. I wish it did, but it was part of the requirement of this is that this gun has everything that it needs to be maintained, adjusted, as well as caliber changed out within the platform itself so that there was no need to carry a tool bag with you or whatever. What that they did came up with was a handguard. You'll see in the picture this handguard here. That handguard actually pops off and underneath it in there are two Allen wrenches. And that's all it takes to change out these calibers, these barrels, is the two Allen wrenches. And then, you know, it's contained within the handguard, the handguard comes back on and off. So you need to make a quick barrel change, you pop it off, take the Allen wrenches out, and then you do what I'm about to explain. So let's talk about the barrel changes. Simple design, another requirement was that it would be simple, the tools be a part of the rifle, as well as it only can be done in minutes, right? And it can be done anywhere. So for this rifle, I'm not gonna take the barrel out today. I will do some of the other pieces, but the barrel, I just don't have a lot of room. But the barrel, to take the barrel off, um, and there are videos out there that you can see, but there's four Allen wrench screws on the left-hand side, which you can't see, and there's one on the right side. They are numbered, so you can, you know, you follow the numbers. You unscrew the four, you unscrew the one on the right-hand side, and you just pull the barrel straight out. The barrel has an indexing notch, so whenever you take and you pull this 338 out and you grab the 308, you slide it in. It's not only going to be indexed right, but the uh, headspace is also going to be right as well. So there's really no way to mess this up. You pull it out, you put it in, you find that notch, you slide it in, you tighten the 4 down, the 5 down, and boom, that part is done. That's not all that it requires because you have a different magazine, so you change your magazine out, and then other last part you have to do is change the bolt face, or the bolt head they call it. Obviously the 338 is a different round, it has a different back face there that the bolt face has to grab onto. The 308 is significantly smaller than the, three, the 338, so you got to change that. So let's just do that. That I will do because that's simply, I have room for that. So to take out the bolt, you just unfold the stock, push that little button on the side and pull it out. So quickly, this bolt right here has a has a, safe, a bolt safety right here. There are three positions for this. First one obviously is safe, can't be fired. Second one is your firing position. There's a third that allows you to lock the bolt into the rifle itself. So once it's in, it can't be pulled out. You have to flip the switch. So it can't accidentally be popped out, fall out, or whatever it is. However, so this is the bolt head or bolt face. This is the part that actually grabs the shell or seats the shell and pulls the shell out. This is what needs to be changed. It's as simple as this. So we've already changed the bolt, those five screws. Now we're just going to pull out this part of the bolt and it's going to expose the firing pin. The firing pin actually acts as a retention pin to this bolt face. This bolt face just slides out. Simple as that. Put that away. Now you grab your 308 bolt face. You slide that in. Put this back in. Screw it on. Pretty cool, huh? So, like right now, we're probably at minutes. I'm at like 30, 40 seconds just to get that done. Now, once you're done, put that bolt back in, close it back up, action bolt, boom, ready to fire 308. So, that is in a very limited way. That's all it takes to change out the calibers of that gun. Let's talk quickly before I get into the cost of this gun. Why would you want that, right? I mean, this is a significant investment gun. There are multiple reasons, I think, that for you, depending on who you are and what you are, and why these calibers really do add to the overall value of the gun. So, I mean, we'll just start with the long-range competitive shooter. So you may or may not have multiple ranges that you shoot at. You may have multiple distances and things like that that you're dealing with in that competitive shooting range. And you just may need different calibers for that. 
You may go to one range one day that doesn't allow 338 or 50, you know, and above calibers because it's a very big bullet, can fly very far. They may not be able to support that. So instead of you grabbing a whole different rifle to shoot with or practice with, you can just change out the caliber 308 or 300 wind mag. Most ranges, 300 yards, 200 yards, will allow you to shoot 308. Some will let you, to, you know, 100, 150. So it gives you some options to use the gun that you have, to use the gun that you compete with, to use the gun that you want to learn with in multiple scenarios from a competitive shooting. You could be a hunter. Um, this would be a great hunting rifle. Now, I'm not talking about a little deer hunting rifle. I'm talking about big game rifle where you're shooting, you know, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 yards. However, game sizes are different and you just may need a smaller bullet or a bigger bullet depending on what you're shooting. Boom. Now you can go to wherever bring those calibers with you and adjust on the fly depending on what it is you're going to be shooting at that day. And then three, you may be a military or law enforcement operator. And, you know, there's multiple reasons why you would have different calibers depending on what scenario that you're being placed in for whatever reason that you're being used for. So you have a lot of options in that regard. It's perfect. It's easy to change. It's all self-contained. There, It's just the most ideal perfect weapon of a sniper system anyway that I think exists on the market today. Um, that said, cost. Let's talk about that. It is not for, I will say, this is not for the I'm shooting once a month at the range shooter. I mean, I'm not saying that you couldn't buy it, but when at $6,999, it's a steep price just for the average I'm going to shoot once a month or twice a month type of person. But if you're that military or law enforcement or you're that competitive shooter or you're that hunter, serious hunter that really wants multiple options, this is the gun for you. And the reason I say that is because of those multiple calibers. So this platform allows you to build upon the investment, you know, that $6,999 investment. When you add those multiple calibers, you're getting multiple rifles. So that, you know, the additional calibers do have a cost as well. They range from $1,800 to $2,200. But... That is taking advantage of the same platform, and for all the reasons I discussed before, you know, getting into this into this platform, and then building on this platform, it just makes sense. What a lot of folks would do would I'm going to buy my 338 right Lapua for for this use, or my 50 cal, whatever it is. I'm going to buy my 308. I'm going to buy my 300 wind bag. I'm going to have three different rifles, three different cases, three different you know, and all these things. Right? This is all in one contained in one platform, one case. That has a benefit. Um, so yeah, so to that point, I will say this as well. It does seem like a hefty cost, but it is by no means the most expensive. Either PSR on the on the market, the Remington uh, version of this is around nine grand, from what I saw at Shot Show. And then if you get into the Barretts, they're more expensive as well. So it still is um, affordable in the sense of these platforms and these type of rifles. So by no means is the $69.99 price tag something that's out of, the, out of the ordinary of what you're getting and what type of rifle it is. So with that, I will close. Um, if for some reason, and it's possible, very possible, um, that I created more questions than I answered, so please take the time. Let us know what are those questions. We're willing, we'll, we'll answer them, not regardless of what they are. Um, you, can, you can either post it on the blog post comment section below. You can post them on the YouTube video itself because you are you may be watching this inside the screen of my website, but it is a YouTube video, so if you click on it, it brings you to YouTube, you can comment there. You can send us an email to sales at traguns.com. You can call us at 919-263-1110. Or if you happen to be in North Carolina or in the Wake Forest area, come by and see us. We're at 992 Durham Road, Suite B, Wake Forest, North Carolina. Again, my name is Kurt Lieberman. I really appreciate you spending some time with today with us and learning with the TRA team blog post site. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're watching this, and we'll see you on the next post. Thank you.